Shut up already! What? What is that? Who the hell are you? No way, chat. He's early for once. Oh my god. Honey, I'm doing for the reset for 14 months. Good fucking lord. Yeah, uh, I had, I'd say time my hands, I usually always do. But I feel like, you know what? I just, sometimes it's just better to start instead of sitting and waiting in anticipation, you know? I was sitting here in anticipation of, like, wow, like wow. I'll start soon, you know? We'll start, we'll start, we'll start. Just fucking start, man. Just, just go. Just go. What, what is there to lose? Nothing. That's what. So, let me make sure the audio is good. And we're going to get right into just a reading. Yippee. Because that... Thanks for telling not to be dry. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Let me make sure the audio is good. My voice is <clears throat> kind of low. It's been a while. So, uh, hold on. Sister. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just noticed. Yeah, let's see why you say that now. Oh. <laughs> what? That's a. Huh. Okay, why do you say that? I saw from just trying to come off as racist. Which is weird, even for you. I'm going to be honest. Kind of. Kind of strange. But, um, alrighty. Today's lucky item. White turtleneck. What did Tonaaki mean by that? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Alright. Let me just do this. And do that. So, I. We started phase three. I'll read a second that line. Go for it. I know we started phase three. Beyond that, um, we did the near chaos thing. Right, we did dawn. So now it's to find our way around. I need to look at the help menu again, just in case. I need a refresher. Hello, everyone. It's the third period of our special lesson. The story is finally approaching its climax. I'm told that it's still a ways away. As we come this far, the high ground is in front of us, in front of our eyes. It's the last part, let's do our best. This is not cheating. I'm here to hint his non-existent chest. Right. As long as you're here, it would be all non-existent brain rather than non-existent chest. But well, we'll skip the small talk and quickly begin the lesson. The story is at its climax too, so we can't waste time here. Expert. <clears throat> hey teacher, how is that even how is that even though the nice neck is cut off? We're still not in the third stage. Oh? That's because you haven't met with the black cat enough times. To develop the story, one must build friendship with the black cat. I met with the cat quite a few times. Yes, that's a trap. The girl in black comes out sometimes, but there are times when you just shouldn't meet her. She seems to frequent the park during the holidays, so those who think they're short on number of meetings with the girl, please use that chance. <clears throat> uh, you mustn't let your guard down because you met at the same place once. There'll be solid changes depending on the situation. That's true, Nya. And what do you need to do to move on to the next stage from there? That is, if you achieve the following three points, the end will be near. First one. It's around the time when the player starts noticing how this world works. To learn about familiars. It's about familiars. Would it be good to hunker down in one of the two persons' rooms and visit them after school? Uh, so there's really going to the intersection. I bet if you got swayed in the middle and couldn't get to the intersection, correct? That restriction will be lifted in this stage. The answer to why the intersection was off limits will be revealed. Now then, let's go to the forbidden intersection. 
Good point. And once you reveal the mystery behind the intersection, be careful about what you're really forgetting. But that, all mysteries will be solved. After that, please spend the day as usual and prepare for the night of truth. Unless it's not over. Good job, everyone. The end is near. Hooray! No way. Teach me, I said so. Uh. Shiru, any like that, you're tricky, Nya. Let me move onward. I accept his advice corner. What if you meet me in the streets and then go back to the mansion and meet little sister or the maid? It'll be fun after that, Nya. But after many people might already know this, Nya. So true. So true, am I right? Or am I right? So to spend the day. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? You're not right. What? What do you mean I'm not right? <sighs> First the name, and I'll tell you your purpose. That is the only thing she heard from the Magus. Or more of this. Windmill is running. A tower made of bricks wades through the air with its three wings. We have good news. September is over, but gift subs discounts are still here. That's great. Why is it a big fucking box on my screen telling me about that? Thank you. That's great, but like, chill? Develop the field and the horizon of the sunset is far, far away. The wind soars like a fast and grand dragon. The chair the Maggie sits on sways. Oh, the chair, it was her daily routine to look at the sunset together with him. Of course, it wasn't as if she liked the sunset. She doesn't know the cause of happiness or sadness to begin with. Even then, she doesn't express her dislike and stares at the sunset. Just an animalistic instinct to mimic the owner. Autumn ends with that day. The golden field will turn slowly into a desert of steel cold color from tomorrow on. The wind is cold and the windmill turns faster than usual. Then the sunset is the reddest she's seen yet. That's could say that she actually had some premonition of it. Magus ended his days within her, within her understanding, ever so alone. There's no reason why she would know what research he was doing. Magus pursues magic, even though he knows that neither he nor his next incarnation could ever reach the goal. But how many enlightenments one goes through? Enlightenments one goes through? There's no Magus who reached the level of magic. Magus can never reach magic, and he is never rewarded. I don't know about that, but I guess back in the day here, yeah, that was the case. But I don't know about that, though. I, there's a few that I have. First thing that Magus learns seems to be that no matter what he does, he needs to know that he will never be ever rewarded. But you heard from her second owner that they pass on their knowledge accumulated over many generations to their successor. Then what was this, Magus? He didn't have students, nor did he chase after magic. Nor was he interested in fame. For a long time, he has never been satisfied. That was a life without anything. Although even time spent on forming relationships with others was considered wasted when he could be doing research. He was never rewarded. No, not ever, not never rewarded. He didn't even have such unnecessary thoughts. The old man only pursued a process. He didn't know anything about results. He just wanted to learn endlessly. That was the whole life of the Magus. Of course, such life could not have been happy. Because of course, something like happiness is unnecessary for research. I'll teach you your role in life. She first opened her eyes carefully. A tall tree just about to fall. 
like a rock that no matter what would not chip. The old Magus taught her. A familiar is something that must not act on its own. That's the only thing she heard from the Magus. She followed his teaching. She thought it would be the last time spent together. Because the wind got cold and the windmill ran faster than usual. And the sunset was the reddest yet. She got the feeling. Under the chair, she looked up at the Magus. There is no change in his posture. Not changing anything else. Still looking at the setting sun. The lips seem to move a little bit. She jumped up. For the first time, she made contact with the Magus on her own volition. She jumped onto the closed book on the knees, on the knees, and raised her ears so that she would hear well. How many decades has it been? First and the second. Then the next lesson will come. For the first time, she expectantly looked up at the owner. Oh, hey, go. Thanks for joining. Sorry, I forgot to say thanks for joining, all them. Sorry. Oh my god, men and two! Thanks for joining! I looked over the help thing again just to see what we were doing, and I. We got we got it, alright? We got we got it. We know what we're doing. We're fucking around until something happens. That's what we're doing. But I know what we're doing. Uh! New CG! The wrinkled palm petted her. That's a goaded CG right there, Chan. Quiet computer. Heck, this might even be the uh, thumbnail for the Stavon. Given it's a start of part 3. Which has me nervous, but also not. You know, a little bit of both. Surprised she could not move. She didn't know. A simple pet to the head, and the desire to stay that way seemed to be paralyzing her. But it seemed like only a brief moment. Magus looked far away with one hand on her, and without another word, ended his long, long life. It was an ending without meaning. Since it was a life without any meaning, it could not have been otherwise. At the end, the Magus failed. Though it was unconsciously, he should not have touched her. But through that, he died as an old man rather than as a Magus. Without knowing the reason, she cried. It was too much. It was too much for him to have showed such commoner's emotion. Because of that, he contemplated at the end whether his solitude as a Magus was a simple solitude or not. She sat on the chair as she listened to the funeral bells. She dreams in an empty place. The owner that made contact with her once. The owner who petted her once. The Magus who ruined his own demise in order to say goodbye to her. And so, that was sad. Once the old man needed her and loved her. Such things she realized only after she was alone. But there isn't anyone in the chair now. Bro, that's depressing, what the fuck. And so the autumn passed and the steel's cold winter came. She doesn't remember what happened afterward. The new owner simply came and took garden guardianship of her. So the only scenery she remembers are three things. The only light she saw after her birth and kept on seeing for a long time. Back at the owner who didn't speak anything. And... And... Read the sunset she saw the one time she was on his lap and the hoarse voice of No name drop? Ah you bastard! God, I wanted the name drop, man. F God damn it. Alright, I think because it's been a while, we'll start off with actually reading these early portions again. It's been a while, right? It's been a minute. No name for you? Yeah, I'm fucking sad about that. God damn it. I wanted the name drop. F Just move stuff out of the way here. Yeah, yeah we'll do these uh, early readings because it's been a while. I press skip anyway. Okay. Fucking. 
the last story <laughs> allegedly uh-huh i mean she if you know how to get it we'll get it and then and <laughs> that magus's name yeah but einstein his name is the magus thanks eddie thank thank you man also hey thanks for joining appreciate it so allegedly man and you know how to get to the last story huh allegedly okay um I mean, we gotta go. T we have to meet the cat a few times. Go to the intersection, and once we go to the intersection, we get some other stuff. We just gonna hang out with Ark. All right, we don't skip the rest of these. Fuck! I still said we're not gonna skip them, and I skipped anyway. You have two left on check, right? Uh, no, we only have one. The top one. Yeah, we have one left of the side quests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. After Cheney, I go to the layer room where, as usual, Arke is drinking tea. Okay, who'd be looking out the courtyard now looks up at me. Good morning, Nissan. I'm glad you look well this morning. A satisfied smile. She's really saying is, I'm glad you got up early for once. Yeah. Ni hao. Right. <laughs> I. I forgot about that. It's so about greeting ahead into the dining room. I stand corrected. You're just the same as always. It's such a curt greeting. But that, she turns her scolding eyes to me. It's a pity. She doesn't understand the friendly feeling I try to convey with my simple greeting. I'm awkward and sleep with her. I go to school instead of going home and go back to work. Yeah, because we couldn't do that before, right? I'm not curt. Saying it slept well when the time gets old. The story allegedly. <laughs> Thought that maybe I would try something more exotic today. Hmm. It sounded insincere to me, but if you say so, that must be the way it is. Hmm. How about I use that greeting tomorrow too? Ooh, that would be a welcome. Think about Aki greeting me energetically. For some reason, I feel that it'd be bad for my mental health to see such a mismatch in the morning. It might really collapse from anemia. No, let's drop it. Her greeting is a show of etiquette, so I'll try to be more considerate next time. It's good that you understand, Nissan. Please don't make me waste my time in the morning. You, you got it. Okay, elegantly drinks her black tea. It seems morning at the tournament mansion doesn't change whether I wake up early or not. I and I both have become used to it, so it's just not a morning. I forgot this scene was included. Go to the lobby after finish getting ready. It's only 7 o'clock. I could probably drop by somewhere and still have time to make it to school. Well done. So, go to school. Go to Ark, right? Yeah, go to Ark's apartment. And again, we'll just let it roll. It's been a minute. It's been even longer for the Ark apartment stuff. I'm sure Anna would love to hear that dialogue again. Since I have time, I should at least swing by and see her for a second. I have time later because of the school festival, and honestly, I just want to see Aqua. <laughs> I just want to see her, I'm not gonna lie. Go out before Aki. Shiki-sama, did you forget anything? You sort of surprised me with that question. Huh? No, I thought I got everything. I have a badge to check the contents. My utensils, student ID, my notes for today, and then the hidden knife. I don't think I forgot anything. I'll be back later then. I might be out late, so don't wait up for me. Yes, it must be the cultural festival preparations. If you have to stay the night somewhere, please give me a call. Okay, I'll see you later. Turn away from the buying you and shrug downhill. Bye! <sighs> Stop running to take a deep breath. Go south of the intersection, I'll be at the school, east of the mansion. Hurry, I'll be late. I don't want to be late. I have to wake up and run all the way here. It's just how it is when I want to go to Aqua's place in the morning. I do dish school anyway. Doorbell sounds. No answer. <clears throat> I open the door with my key and enter. Break. I would call this breaking and entering, but he has a key, so I guess it's okay. Aqua, you awake? Just now. Sleepy eyes and motions toward me. Sleepy head. I could 
room is simple as always. Maybe she was out last night. She looks more tired than usual as she sits up on her bed. What is it? Well, you're in pain. Did something happen? Yeah. I had a pretty exhausting dream last night. I like I was overwhelming myself. Ah. She sighs. It's more like she's mentally tired and random, physically tired. Exhausting dream? That's pretty rare for you, isn't it, Knockwood? It's not rare. I never dream. I stop my bodily functions when I sleep, so even thinking stops. Well, even then, I re sometimes remember things from the past, but that's just the past. It's different from what you call dreaming, isn't it? Yeah. A dream is half reality, half wish. It's different from remembering the past. Right. I know what half wish means, but you experience things you haven't, right? I never dreamt. Half asleep. She sounds so lonely. Hmm. In your dream. Was well, just you remember the past? Hmm. I haven't experienced anything like that, so I don't think so. It was about something I didn't know about. I guess you called the dream. It was horrible. I thought finally I'm having a dream. But I really hate what I saw. You didn't come either. I feel like I got cheated out of something. <sighs> he sighs again. Morning today doesn't seem much better than mine. But Cheeky, if you're here, are you taking a break from school? With that, she gets up energetically. Looks like she wants me to take her somewhere fun. Uh, no, I just thought I'd stop by real quick. Once I get the answer I came here for, I'm going to school. Ah, Cheeky, you're so cold. You didn't come to help me last night when I was in a pinch either. Not a satisfied look. Her dream is so her dream is troubling, but being trusted feels good. Okay, okay. If you're in a pinch next time, call. But unfortunately, I can pop up in someone else's dream. If it's a dream, you're on your own. Eh? Are you telling me to handle it myself? I can't do that. She turns her head obliviously. Alright, come on, you're not this defenseless. Please. Awkward. Remind me, who was the person who messed around it with my dreams? She is. Ah. <laughs> that was me. At least you admit to the truth, Awkward. Seriously, how was she able to just completely forget about inconvenient stuff like that? Defenseless? Yeah, like she's not defenseless in her dreams. Is she? No, she's not. You're a succubus or whatever, but if. Suck of us or whatever, but if you can mess with dreams, then the nightmare shouldn't be scary, right? Well, that is, you need to stop using lent to alter people's dreams. It's not right. It's quick accepts. At least she understands quickly. Yeah, I had lent. Had to use her too much, so I forgot. Guess I can ask Len to help me out then. Hey! You can't just take advantage of her like that. <laughs> Defenseless? for school right now, I'll be late. That conversation went on for longer than I expected. What I came for is I should leave for school now. She is a presently deadly, extremely powerful true ancestor who gets her power from the earth itself. She wants to protect against the big bads in her dreams. Ah yes, the dreams are what kick her ass. Oh, they spit. <laughs> I could have to ask something. Hmm? What is it? You sound serious. That's do something to me? Eh? Eh? You could touch her head like a pigeon. What do you mean by do something? What did I do? I don't know myself. I don't know what it is, but something just feels weird. Maybe you or somebody would do something weird, so I came to ask about it. I can't let that slide. But to answer your question, no. I don't remember doing anything to you recently. Yeah, I don't remember you doing anything to me either. I can't even remember what I did yesterday. So it's not like my memory is very useful anyways. I... think she feels like I asked this question to someone yesterday too. Because she did. Ah, sorry. It was just a misunderstanding. Well, I'll be leaving for school now. Eh? Shiki, are you really going? If you're finally here, can you just stay a bit longer? Uh, that face. I'm a healthy guy. My resolve is wavering. What do I do?
this case, I'll just... We, we, we stick around anyway. <laughs> That's all we do. Say, Chiki, stay a little more. I've heard you don't have to go to school every day. And it's your fault for waking me up anyways. I'll jump out the window dramatically. Anna, we're staying. What are you talking about? We're staying. Uh, did wake her up. Guess it's a bit rude to just leave her now. Well, she is being kind of down. Being one hour late isn't too bad. Okay. I guess I could stay a bit longer. <laughs> you sure can. Ah, it feels like I just woke up from a fresh nap. <laughs> it's a victory sign with childlike happiness. <laughs> I jump out the window dramatically, and then slowly walk back up the stairs and jump in bed with the white woman. All right. Another thing a little better. What you just said was kind of odd, wasn't it, awkward? Eh? I said something odd. What? Well, what do you not say something odd? You said someone said I don't have to go to school every day. I don't remember saying anything like that. Of course, it wasn't you. It wasn't you who said you only have to go to school only about two thirds of the time. Nope, definitely wasn't you. Okay, well, that's all fine, but... Who did you hear it from? It wouldn't be Senpai who said it. I can't wouldn't forgive even a day of absence. Then... It, it, it probably isn't. But... Don't worry. I don't go to your school randomly, nor do I talk to your friends randomly. If she's reading my mind, she ends up what I was going to ask. Worst case scenario. I could got a self acquittal with someone at school who has the worst behavior and is very likely to spread rumors about us. I think that has been avoided. Ah, oh, I'm glad. I was wondering how it would have turned out if you had met Arihiko or something. But then, where did you hear that? Awkward. Oh, it's simple. I was just walking around during the day and met some guy in your school's uniform. It was during the day, so school was in session. I thought it was weird that he was out and about. So I just asked him why he wasn't in school. Uh, for a moment, an image of something really, really bad flashed through my mind. That guy, he seemed to be about your age, so I thought he'd be okay to talk to him. He taught me that you could skip a third of school. And he also said, who would leave such a pretty nair sound like you and go to school? He can't be called a man. Or something like that. Wow. To be able to say such a thing on his first meeting. And then to be able to walk around proudly during the day in school uniform. Oh. And did he say anything else? Yeah. He told me to say hi to you. And then he shouted something like, you traitor, and left. I can feel another headache coming on. Sounds about right. Yeah. It's fucking goddammit, Arika. <laughs> Buddy, you're dealing with seven, man. But leave me alone. I'm gonna read nine. Our room's done. First prayer should be in session. I'm gonna skip half my morning classes now. Stupid ego spin. <laughs> that's right. Ah, that's right. So he clings to my neck. Ah, that's a dangerous. You should do that when someone's drinking something. Oh my god. Hey, Saki. Appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> it's your fault for relaxing by yourself, ignoring me. Relaxing by myself? I was just drinking tea. Are you always going to go ballistic over such small things? Now I disappear. No shot. You stop by at least. You don't take care of me, so I have to. Not nice of you to drink tea by yourself. She looks at me as if she, her feelings were hurt. Well, this isn't all that bad. Really? But of what I do, you're never satisfied. Okay, I'll do what you want. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> really? Then I want you to make me breakfast. Uh, she's called my neck and bounces like a child. Uh, Breakfast? Yeah, the thing you made me last time. I want to eat it again. 
things are happy, she might just explode. That's fine, but is that really okay? I do remember making her breakfast for making breakfast for her once. I didn't think she would like it that much. I didn't think she'd like it that much. No reply comes to mind as a stand up. Yeah, the food you eat in the morning. Make that. Awkward. It's a lot more complicated. It's not that simple, awkward. It... Please understand. You gotta be more specific, lady. Okay. I'll be in the kitchen. Say, I head over to the kitchen. There you go. With the ball on the table. Wow. You look so good. Her hands together to show gratitude and picks up the chopsticks. Mm, tasty. The chopsticks lightly. Well, if she's happy, I'm happy. I'm glad you like it. I tried my best. It was only a pre cooked meal last time, but I tried to make it way better today. Really? <laughs> I think it's much better than last time. It's a noodles in her mouth. The face is the same, but I tried to make the taste soak in more. I wasn't really satisfied last time. I just thought that I re really could eat more last time. Think about how you made it for me, I completely forgot to actually enjoy it. So I could only really enjoy the second half. <laughs> Seeing that she doesn't swallow her chopsticks a single bit. Doesn't slow her chopsticks, unless she'd swallow, I got confused. Awkward would accidentally try to swallow the chopsticks, I'm not gonna lie. She would do that, it's the worst part. She would. Hmm. Well, she really likes the dish. Ah, this isn't good. See, it's so hardly it makes you want to make your breakfast every day. This isn't good. Don't worry. Just come make me breakfast every day. I can wake up early every day if you make me breakfast. Well, she's done with the noodles. Ark would swallow them intentionally. I don't know about intentionally, but she would do it accidentally at least. She brings a bowl to her mouth and begins drinking the soup. How do I say this? It's a sight to behold. Face it, Shiki. You seem surprised. Well, yeah, I'm surprised. I thought a princess like you would eat more elegantly. That ah, those cheeks redden. This isn't like her. But you made it for me. So I want to eat it like that. She puts down her bowl. Yes, again, but she seems embarrassed and looks away. Well, this side has its cuteness, too. Malona says she can't hear me. Think about it, Aqua has a lot of mismatched aspects about it. I slapped my microphone too, but hey, that's not new, is it? She eats fast food, drinks canned drinks from vending machines. Eh? Eh? Now Aqua starts acting strangely. Like she's in pain? Maybe she wants to cry? She. she. Shiki. I gotta ask. That's in a cheerful voice. W what is it, Awkward? Is being up this early painful for you? Uh, no, nothing like that. Uh, but what did you put in there? It's her head like a little bird. Somehow it matches her cheerful expression well. What ingredients? Just the normal stuff. That's what's that come up in my head. She puts down her pale face, but she hears the last ingredient and she lies flat on the floor. Awkward! What is it, awkward? <laughs> she goes limp. Eyes closed, she murmurs as if she were a nightmare. Uh, what is it? Come here closer to her. And then. Don't put that in. Uh, no. Garlic. Please. Not that. It's not tasty. Over and over again. Well, I'm sure she's fine. And I'm gonna go. Talk to Aku who's lying on the bed. Aku doesn't answer and stares at me. She does one with eyes like a cat's. A cat. That's it. She's fucking dead! I can tell whether she's interested, hostile, has feelings or not. Sorry. I'll be more considerate next time. Here's my cat-like state. Ugh. Poison the funny man, how could you do this? 
Even my eyes are so intense, it feels like I'm being stabbed. Let me turn my back to Aqua and leave the room. I don't leave. I don't leave now. I don't know what Aqua will do to me, so I have to escape. Bye, Aqua. Then I head to school. Past 10 now. I heard I should be barely able to make it to the third period. Let's see, what's next? Uh, go to school, ends up going back home. We go to back to Awkward. That's our end destination. Okay. Got it. So we can just do what we want for that then. Okay. Lunch time has come. Class immediately becomes more noisy and most of the students head to the cafeteria. Dono, what are you going to do about lunch today? Garihiko asks, mm, What should I do? What are you going to do? Me? I'm going to have some bread. If you go into the cafeteria, I'll have to say goodbye. Oh? I just only want to go to the cafeteria. Unfortunately, the food in the cafeteria is expensive. Um, to use my lunch money of 500 yen wisely, I'll have to buy some bread to eat in the courtyard or leech off of Senpai in the tea room. Ha! <laughs> What ridiculous points are you having, Tono? Really? Man who saved a hundred thousand yen from elementary school is a miser. I, I get anger for some reason. Send for the courier to find, but today I want to have some donkatsu rice at the cafeteria. Damn it. I'll just. I'll just. I don't know, cat. Well, he is mad, so he wants to eat in the cafeteria, so fucking. Fine, I'll just eat, man. Fuck. I'm not sure that I'm no miser. I've decided. I'll eat lavishly at the cafeteria. Eh? <laughs> really? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Tell me. Maybe even an egg on top of a Yubu Udon? Yubu Udon. 250 yen. Egg? 50 yen. Harihiko. You can't call that lavish. <laughs> Two persons worth? Stop! Don't be good because we're out of bluffing! Two persons. Plus a hundred yen. Donkatsu rice and vegetable mixed with soup. Donkatsu rice at 650 yen. Uh, are you serious, Tonokun? Buy me some with that money! Quiet! Don't leech off me! Oh, I forget how serious they are about the cafeteria spending here. Put down my head and sigh and march to the cafeteria. And the next news item. I'm having my donkatsu rice set and there's nothing you can do to stop me. The set of land size in the city of... Shion Sake at 7 in the morning. I can't read that properly, so I'm assuming that's right. Bank weight damage was minor. The surrounding area was cut off for about an hour, but the repair started and... Shows today's morning news. We have a the morning news recorded by the principal who says that it beats the students' current events. One, the one student who watches news says he eats curry udon and eggs. Ugh. Spineless one. Because I'm saying that that loaded student is Jodo Shiki. I broke. My food and cafeteria are serious business. You fucking right of this. Damn it. What's with this feeling? I was fighting vampires, I don't think I was this week. It's so pathetic. Uh, well, whatever. Let me get swayed by my whims and save my money in case I need it later on. Uh, but even then, the curry on here is spicy. As if I says it's just right, I'm sort of being said my tongue is damaged from all the curry. And our next story. So and so days ago, mysterious murders are sort of happening, and so today another victim was found. Construction in the redevelopment site, what is believed to be human blood has been. <sighs> the unpleasant news continue. Empires are gone, but there's still mysterious deaths happening around town. <laughs> still, I'm having to finish in the curry you know. The unpleasant news made my stomach queasy, so I couldn't finish the soup. Maybe someone would punch me for being wasteful as I left the cafeteria. She probably would. I'm just almost over. Sitting in the hallway are chatting dangerously close to the starting of the fifth period. Walking down the hallway, I'm in the sound of laughter relaxes. Right sign, the peaceful scenery. 
environment where I can make endless small talk. And it goes on without any major changes. Happy things, sad things, boring things. Time continues without stopping. For some reason recently, things feel imbalanced. Sounds is relatively rare and only happy things really stick out of my mind. These are the best day of my life. I'm just torturing myself unnecessarily. I'm worrying about tomorrow being more normal. I should just be enjoying the today. That's right. That's right. If I'm afraid of the misfortune of after happiness, I should at least try my best to enjoy the happiness. It may just be someone's perfect dream. Suddenly. Dream? I think I'm remembering something extremely important. Wait, this is new, isn't it? Wait a minute. I feel like this is new chat. I don't remember yesterday. At least, that's what I thought. Is it yesterday that I realized that, I was mis that was a mistake? It is? Oh shit! I didn't even fucking know. Well, I noticed in the end. I don't remember yesterday. There's nothing that can't be remembered. I always realized that paradox at the end. Probably already figured it out. After thinking hard, open my eyes, then not remembering. This must be... <sighs> I feel a little nauseous. Nausea caused by staring at the television for many hours. Man, imagine getting nauseous from staring at the TV. Cringe. Or any screen for that matter. I mean... Nah, cringe. Don't, don't. Don't stare at screens for too long, alright? T don't. <laughs> uh, don't skip that. Oh, the gun class has begun. That. Mr. Kunihuji starts a conversation in the doorway of his classroom. I I'm sorry, how's a little out of it? Is that so? Please hurry to your class. Mr. Kunihuji closed the classroom door behind him. Why? Isn't that anything important? I just didn't hear the bell. That's already started. I should go straight to my classroom, but for some reason, we will go straight to class. We will go straight to class, Tono. Come now. You have nothing else to do. No, it's just started, so I might get by without being late. Yeah, I encourage myself to go to class. After? No. <laughs> Our room's over. God, I'm so used to having a goddamn school bell sound. If I went back to school, I'd probably fucking cold to shock that I didn't hear the school bell sound. <laughs> it's just for the usual annoying as ringing and not the... That one. I guess the days are getting longer. It still doesn't seem like it's going to wane. It still feels like day. It makes me feel like I want to go back. Uh, it's in the streets, right? To get to Aqua's house, right? It's the streets. Because we don't go back home. So soon we go into the streets. Allegedly. Yeah, okay, allegedly. But just want to make sure, like, we went to go to the streets to get to Aqua's house. Yeah? Yeah. Also, Tony, you com you kind of complain about the fact that the daylight is still out, bro. I wish the day was still out. The fact it starts getting dark at like six, seven p.m. is fucking annoying. I hate it. Actually, it's like five thirty to six. It starts getting dark, bro. That shit sucks. When there's no sun, I get sad. I I I get sad like real quick. Fucking hate it. Get out of school. Now then, I'll head to Aqua's place again, allegedly. It's already new, so I think you might be right, Menon. I don't think it is allegedly. I think it is correct. I'm at Aqua's apartment. I'm reading about a sunset that makes it look special. Now that I think about it, there hasn't been any evening like this before. Sunset always comes on the. Sunset always came on the hill. I'm burping a lot, what the fuck? The image of looking at the sunset from a high ground afar. 
Maybe it's something that I don't have myself, but something crafted by created by the child. It doesn't be one hour of my mortal life to decipher the flowchart. <laughs> and we appreciate your services, Minon. We should get a, I should get a oh that should be the next. I should write that down. A salute. I don't know which character would do the salute. Maybe Arihika would. Would he do a salute? Maybe. I'll write that down. Hold on. That could be number five. And thank you for your services. There you go. We'll figure out the character after. We got five there now. Among one. Almost six emotes written down to it. That was my ring. Knock on the table. Yeah, it must be getting near. Don't say that! Our powers are coming to their limits. But I can think clearly much more often now. Alright. If I don't seize this chan ch ch If I don't seize this chance, there may not be about may not be another. Chance. Why is that like that? As long as I remember her clearly, I have to get advice from someone who knows her well. Right. Awkward. Tell me about familiars. Familiars? I don't really care, but why all of a sudden? But why all of a sudden? You haven't told me before that you didn't have any interest in such things. It's just that the situation's changed a little. Oh, and please cut out the parts that are hard to understand and make it easier to suck it. Make it what? It's just that the situation's changed a little. Oh, and please cut out all the parts that are hard to understand and make it easy and... Make it suck. Make it succiant, I guess. Make it succiant. There you go. Uh, no, maybe that's a little too much. Don't leave them out, but please make it as easy to understand as possible. Hmm. If you say that, I don't really know much about know much myself either. I just brought land. My knowledge about familiars is basic. Uh, it's perfect. Please tell me. Hmm. Okay. Then where should I start? He looks happy. Even though the content might be a little off, he's always happy to talk. Firstly, what is a familiar? And that question first would be appreciated. Okay, this is how the types of familiars. A familiar is a magus's helper, but it's essentially different from a maid or a slave. A familiar is a part of a magus, and it's also something that represents the magus. A part? Right, Nero's familiars were Nero himself. Are all of other magi like that too? Do they carry them in their bodies? Nero is special. A familiar shares a mental and physical connection with the master. But regular masters can't form an equal connection with every one of them like Nero. I was wrong. So it's not here. So the allegedly it still was allegedly. F Dang. Hmm. In other words, Haggy doesn't come out to their... She doesn't come out to their own dirty work. To do their own dirty work. The first priority is taking the sorcerer into the realm of magic. I don't have time for other things. I would like to invoke possible deniability. <laughs> I see. That's fair. In that case, proceed. And good luck. In your further research of finding the possibility or the eligibility that we might find this final part. But when something urgently requires their attention, then they send their familiars as amb ambassadors. They have specific roles like spying or patrolling or assassinating, but they adapt their roles using an algorithm to faithfully mimic what its owner would do. First of familiars are those... That's all arc talking. I'm just... I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm not paying attention. Alright. From the top chat. All right, from the top. Your Honor, I said allegedly. Allegedly, Your Honor. In other words, magnets have come out to do their own dirty work. Their first priority is taking their sorcery into the realm of magic, and they don't have time for things. Time for other things. But when something urgently requires their attention, then they send their familiars as ambassadors. They don't have specific roles like spying or patrolling or assassinating, but they adapt their roles using an algorithm to faithfully mimic what its owner would do. Friends or familiars are those who can act on their own without the master's will. 
Sorry, but I don't really understand. Can we get a little more basic? Like, for example, your familiar is a black cat. But was it originally a black cat? Len? Len's a combination of a human spirit and the corpse of a cat. Pardon? The, the corpse of a cat! But, but why? But, but, but... We gotta go to CL, but not stay. Then go to CL, then choose school. I have no idea. Go into the next loop and stay in the classroom to eat. That, I'm sorry, Minden. But... That makes no sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, but reading that, that makes no sense to me. What? Go to CL. I get that. Don't stay. I get that. Then go to CL. After school. Then to school. What? Go to next loop. Stay in class, classroom to eat. That I understand. I don't understand that second, that middle section though. Which I'm not blaming you. That's not on you. Right, I guess it's just out there. Listen carefully. Familiars are life forms, not within the normal system. Maggie needs Maggie need a part of themselves. But they don't need a part to think and act exactly like them. What they need is something that has about the same level of rationale and reasoning, but can think independently. That way they can act as a teacher and have the familiar be a teacher to them too. It's better to discover new things that way, and also makes it easier for them to realize their own mistakes. Well, that's fine, but it's very difficult. Well, that's fine, but it's very difficult to make a human and maintain it. So, I think there's a magic creature that the Magus who has a bond with them um, uh, attend meetings with never necessary. Most of the time, the familiar just kind of exists. At least that's how I interpret what familiar is. Well, let's let Ark finish before we start uh, like going down the hole of. Okay, this is what it is. So, Ark finish. So, they usually use small animals for this part. Prepare a container for the reason, and that container usually is a cat or a dog. And so, they prepare the corpse of a small animal and a human's lingering mind. Someone else's lingering mind. It's easier if you use the mind of a dead person the world still remembers. Ah, uh, <laughs> go a single this shit. And he's just with the fucking choice code. <laughs> uh, I bought my tooth. <laughs> Since the mind has just left the body, it needs to put the person out in a new container. Now the master needs to repair the small animal's corpse so that it can move. It adds onto it so that it can become a part of him. Usually it's blood, hair, and eye, or other parts of the body that contain strong magic circuits that got put into the animal. With that, with that the connection is established between the master and the familiar, and if it now possesses a magic circuit, it didn't have before. <laughs> That's not a hentai cord, man. But not that long. And the right animal is no longer an animal at this point, but an individual life limited to the magazine's lifespan. Ah, but the thing to keep in mind is that that's not reviving a dead person. It's really using the parts left behind to combine other parts, so it doesn't transcend. So it doesn't transcend into the realm of magic. And the familiar starts acting for the master in the busy outside world, and before long, he'll become the symbol of the magazine. Well, there are some that are definitely against it, and in those cases, they might use already living things as familiars. Although they become magical monsters that resemble us more. Hmm. Uh huh. In other words, that child is a black cat and also a girl. I can tell which one came first. Using the parts of someone who passed away, but it's not considered reviving the dead. So I'm putting another life in. It's more exactly like giving than putting in. Minions can work off of common nutrition, but it'll soon become infeasible. Since they're grafted with magic circuits, they can certainly use sorcery, but they lack the ability to regenerate mana. For example, it's like a light bulb. You can't turn it on without electricity. And that electricity flows out of the magus. If a million doesn't get supplied by the master, it will run out of mana and soon die. So, a familiar without a master? 
is dead. It's essentially a life form maintained by the master. It dying is only natural. Part of nature, says Alcud. It's different from a cat without an owner. A familiar without an owner doesn't exist. Ah, but one like Len, who has a little bit of a demonic nature, can make another contract to live on. Len's active life is short, but she she was made a long time ago. So she's growing as a familiar, also as an animal spirit. So it's a servant. No. No. It's not. It's, it's, no. Because you need... But <laughs> what? But I don't know. It's... The corpse of a small creature. The mind of a currently deceased person. Recently deceased person. Put into one. It's not a servant. In addition, the magus who created Len was extraordinary, so Len has much latent potential. Hmm. Last sigh of relief after that comment. I don't know her situation, but she's office familiar. She's already found a new owner. Necromancy. No! Because it's not magic. And necromancy would count as magic, which this is not magic. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> that that's explaining anything that happens to Tsukihime. Oh, it's just like this? No, it's not that, because it's not magic. It's this. But it sounds like that, but it's not that. It sounds like necromancy, but it's not. Because necromancy implies reviving the dead cat, which is not what you're doing. You're not you're not reviving the dead cat. She's as she says, you're not bringing something back to life. The person's mind is not the person being brought back to life. The animal is not what's being brought back to life. You're combining two things and you're not making life per se. It's stupid. <laughs> Cheeky, why are you making such a kind face all of a sudden? I it's nothing. I was just relieved. If you as the master, I think a familiar should be able to live a long time. Why? I'm not Len's owner. Huh? I'm just taking care of Len. I don't need a familiar, and plus, she's a spirit of nature. Now I'm the same type, there's no way we can form a contract. Hold on. What does that mean? Len still doesn't have an owner. There are lots of people who want to use an excellent familiar like Len for evil purposes. So I'm just going to take care of her until she can find a new master. But what? Is that? Wait, this doesn't add up. That's weird. How's the how's the familiar still alive? But it's not. That's the thing. It's not though. You're taking one part, and another part, and combining it and making something new. But yeah, how the fuck is she alive? Doesn't it die when mana supply from the master cut off? But Len's a dream demon. She replaced mana on her own without a master. She doesn't actually need to form a contract. Uh, but I don't know why she never acts on her own. If she doesn't receive blood or another form of energy, she'll probably disappear. But I don't think she's stolen any yet. See, I wouldn't call it a weird magic system. It's a fascinating magic system. She's so weak that she can barely move around now. What? Disappear? That's cold, awkward. If she doesn't act on her own, why don't you order her? Eh? You're the one who told me to not abuse a familiar. Is it okay to just randomly change someone's dreams to save Len? God, I think I got mad at that before. A while ago, Aquid sent me the dream familiar as a reward. It made me dream an unspeakably ridiculous dream. And I put my foot down so she should never do such a thing again. That's the only time I used Len. Because the next time, it'd be when you're in some serious trouble. For example, if you're hurt. And I can't do anything, but Len might have a way. If there's a situation where your mind might die before your body does, then Len can who can control dreams would be the ideal savior. Well, she'll probably disappear before that, because she doesn't have a social mana. True, true, but that's the fun of it. Honestly, that's the fun of it, though. 
the thing is, though, yeah, like, like, I said like twice, for fuck's sake. The thing is, that's what makes it so interesting. Obviously, you could say, oh, it's ass pull, it's bullshit, it doesn't make sense, it, it's, it's dumb, it's contrived writing, it's, you know, nothing but bullshit. But when you see the magic system in action, like, fate, like, like, magic battle, I said like twice again, fuck. When you see the magic battles in fate, like in Fate Zero, where there's a lot of mage battles, there's mage battles, not sword battles, mage battles, and you see the magic system being used, you can tell that, oh, oh, it's just extremely fucking simple when you look at the surface, which, yeah, that's all you need. Magecraft, super simple. Or just read that one section in Mahoyo where Aqua explains Magecraft to you. Super easy. Just, you, just read the section where Aoko explains Magecraft and you understand the magic system. Super fucking easy. And then you get all the extended lore to the magic system and it gets confusing, confusing again. But hey, listen, that's not important. It's not important. Until it is. And they will explain to you when it is important. And I get hurt. What do you mean? Hmm? I can't tell you any more than that. Uncle turns her eyes away. Afterwards, she won't put any of my questions. But what the hell? Well, that's that's specifically how she treats the magic system. Yes, it's a it's a very intricate system of how the magic system works. And Alco chooses to just use the most simplest of methods of using that magic system, thanks to the fifth magic. And that is to spam beams, yes. <laughs> she has the most effective and simplest way of abusing that magic system, and it's just beams. And we love her for it. Pop onto my bed. The lights of the mansion are off. Usually it becomes my world around this time. But I don't have much energy today. Explained. The black cat's still alone, and... To move on its own. And in the end, it's become so weak that it might disappear. Based honestly? Yeah. I don't think I want to be mad. I'm trying to grasp my sheet. It's going to start to collapse. The reason is simple. This is my dream. And the real Tono Shiki is dying outside. You're bringing a crystal. Well, the crystals is just pocket magic. That's all the crystals are. There's nothing else special. That's just pocket magic activated with words. Or incantations. That's all this is. That's just incantation magic. That's not complicated. It still falls under the... I want it that falls under Magecraft. The crystals. Yeah, because it's not making something that doesn't exist. That would be magic. Pocket Tank. Yeah. Stop that. The child is running. She was trying to trap me into this repetition. Rather, she was trying to save me from meeting tomorrow and dying. Hmm. Even that is at its limit. Without a source of mana, death is certain for her. Let me live in the oblivious happiness. She's shortening her own life. A bell rings. Jasna's visits once again. Tell her she's working hard, but now I'm getting mad at the perfection. The trick has been found out. It's just gonna make me sleep once I start having doubts and questioning the world. Okay. Do as you will. But I'm going to do whatever I can. Right, his magecraft, which is just his body that makes swords. And it's only killing him anyway. Cool, yes. Good, no, because he's taught the wrong way to use it and thus kills himself. <laughs> when used too much. I want to talk to the darkness, my consciousness sinks. Nothing I can do now. There's only one thing. Try your best to not let this world collapse. We need to put an end to those who are trying to destroy it. Repeat again. Repeat again.
Oh my god, chat. In half an hour, it's Tonoshiki's birthday. You ready? Well, he strictly sticks to swords. That That's usually just what he copied. It's, it's specifically swords. It wouldn't be called Unlimited Blade Works if it wasn't just, you know, swords, which that's all this. Uh, he could probably make other things, but it's just he likes swords. So what does he do? He sticks to swords. What is a mushroom sword skill? Or a body sword? It's a man's sword. Many techniques are, mind are mingling with each other. Yes, Ana, he could, but he never does. So therefore, he makes swords. Because he thinks swords are cool. And therefore, chooses to not make anything but swords. He can obviously use his magic on objects to figure out what's broken with them. But that's not creating. Therefore, his magic is just creating swords or reinforcement that's what it was at first did that do it oh. well that was a, that was only allegedly all right let's follow your uh your little code then all right so one How does that make sense? One, 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 three, one, two, two. Two, one, um, it's my long day ants. Let me start the seating from my bed. I fell off the tiredness and lie down. But before that, right, something I need to do. Something missing inside. Something I forgot to say. So you must definitely do. That is three. Repeat again. All right. How long is this one? If we actually did unlock it, go. How long is it? I hate Sajin. It's a romantic somehow. Sure is. What? What? <laughs> How? What? The f- What the hell? Um, <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> Time to do my plan B. Alright. The CL route. It might work. Alright. Give me the CL one again, because uh, I think I lost it here. So if you could send it again, man, I'd be pretty sure, because I think I lost it. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're going to go to CL. Alright. Go to CL. Which is when we st go to school. So go to CL. Yeah, huh? Have a multi-day thing? Could be. Then choose school. I mustn't be swayed. Ch 
comes the last day unlocks it, well, she. School, I have no idea. Go into the next loop. Stay in the classroom to eat. Okay. Uh, straight to class. Uh, another day. Uh, just cafeteria. Ten class. Stay in the class. Hold on. Minute might be out to something. Hold on. Minute might be out to something. Hold on. The classroom is still rowdy. What's after school? A few classmates are still here working on something. This group of girls are taking care of the props. Kind of kind of you free help us. So it comes from a group working on the backdrop for the photo group. It's supposed to be white. Do some Amazonian or African themed backdrop. Oh. What are we doing with all these props? Okay, I'm coming. And if it's as I join the group with a paint bucket. What the fuck are we doing? And I'm helping them until curfew. Walk down the main gate with a sore shoulder. Uh, what the fast we're going to be doing? What are we doing? I don't know. What the fuck was the point in that? <laughs> Alright. Uh, fucking. Alright. Oh, Toki-san. Oh, hey. Uh, fucking three, man. Great again. Alright, so that was alright. So, two, eight, six, one. Mushroom champ punch! Thank you, Akio. Unless. Unless. So, t two. Wait, when do we two? What? When do we do? Two. Okay. But it's not an eight. Eight. I said it's not an eight here, but there is. Six. One. To be fair, we didn't do this. That's like, you know what? Honestly, go. Good. We didn't actually do this. Right. If I don't get 70 average or above on the finals, I was told that I would have to have some of my classes all throughout the winter break. Oh, makes sense. You say that, but I don't know what the side quest is even about, so like... To me, this don't make sense, but if it makes sense to you, that's good. Senpai, honestly? Hmm? You came to study like yesterday, correct? Uh, yeah, something like that. No one I can rely on for these matters. Please take care of a poor Kohai, even though it's a holiday. Uh, I bow my head. Really? Don't worry about it. It's good practice for me. I mean, you should sit down at least once a week to study too. It makes me feel more comfortable. Uh, really? It's more than some impulse vampire princess or a lady attending some proceedings to cabinet teachers. God knows what to their students. Then shall we start? It's just past 10 o'clock. We'll put in a round before lunchtime. <laughs> that sounds good. I can concentrate more if I think of this as a fight. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> I prepared in advance by bringing last year's second semester finals. Let's try a round against the textbook. Against the textbook. Read the sentence, please. She brings out test papers from a bag. Really, the Shadow Student Government principal has tons of mysterious things. Shadow Student Government? Hold on. Shadow government. Money wizard. Fucking. Hold on. She loves casting spells? Shadow is a money gang? God, that's old now, isn't it? How old's that now? I feel old just saying that. When the fuck was that a thing again? Fuck. It was only last year, that's not that long ago. We love casting spells. It wasn't that long ago. No, it was two years ago, December 2nd. Okay, never mind, it's actually longer. Ah, oh, fuck! Never mind. Truly irrelevant nowadays. Can't believe it. 
god, so f- she called me a boomer, I'd have to fucking agree, that's the worst part. <laughs> I'm not even that old. <laughs> and a total is 10 subjects. It's a fight to the finish as much as you can in two hours. Of course, if one with a lower grade, the end will be buying lunch. Senpai starts. It's turning out a little weird, but if I get started with Senpai, then I'll be fine. Speaking box in terms, it's a KO in the third round. Uh, total KO? Let's call it three down, please. Huh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that you're buying lunch. Uh, that's foul. Uh, think about it, this foul was totally unfair. It's okay, it's not a lot. Since I lost, I gotta make you suffer grand enough to, me, to have made it worth competing for. That is so. I regret a little. This much difference in the score, it should have been dinner as well as lunch. But you can't really make noodles and eating noodles for two meals. You just won't give me energy. <laughs> That's cruel, senpai. Not at all. This is a result of a fight. Because I can eat your home-cooked meal, I suppose I can skip the curry for one day. Huh? I've been had. It's not so expecting me to cook dinner. Okay, okay. Dinner and a snack. I'll do something about those. But please help me sort of for the whole day. Ooh, you're enthusiastic, Tonakun. <laughs> With that, winter break will be yours. Let's go on a trip one day. It's a very strangely full of energy. I don't think about it. I'm not really looking forward to starting for one whole day. But since Senpai's here, I can't back out. Okay, then. I'll have to go to supplement classes. Please come in, Zakia. We're taking refuge in Arhiko's house that day. Uh, is that so? A lot of troubles even beyond exams. True. Huh. I threw the kitchen, leaving a sign set by. All this turning out weird, but this is a f- This is fun in its own way. I think I'll be staying tonight, but Arke will understand if it's for the sake of studying. But... Probably can be lunch. How's the for dinner? Go for a snack. I think that something passes through my head. Oh, dumb. Yeah, really dumb. I should at least make curry udon to show my appreciation. Oh, it actually just ends there? Oh, that's... Oh. I did say it was staying the whole day, but damn. Today's lucky item. Spider. I don't know about you, chat, but is that a Arak Sensei reference? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but... That smells of a Arak Sensei reference. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, did it unlock if we do the reverse? It sure don't. Alright, now we gotta do the other one. Alright. Now I gotta follow this code to a T. If you wanna get this section. So. Skip. Skip. You want to do one. One. Imagine it doesn't work. I fucking hope th it works. One. Okay, so one, one, one. Three. One. Two. Two. Classmen are still rowdy. Even though it's after school, a few classmates are still here working on something. It's a group of girls who are taking care of the prompts. Hanukkah, if you're free, help us out! Someone comes from a group working on the backdrop for the photo booth. You're not supposed to be white, you're doing some Amazon of African theme backdrop. Huh. I am having a stroke, huh? You're right, man. What are you doing with all these props? Yeah, I'm coming. Jazzingly, I joined the group with a paint bucket. Why did I replay this scene? Oh, there's more. Done. I mean, it's finally done. Round of applause. Thank you, everyone. 
This is it for Class B's costume shop. Let's hope we don't lose to Class A or C. Who applies in a friendly way? One male among all the females. Of course, that's not other than Tonoshiki. Thanks, Tonokun. We're going now. How about you? You want to go to karaoke with us? This week's exactly the same. Except this part. Tono, listen. This is the part where you say yes. If you didn't already know Awkward and CL. So, um, do what you want, man. Mm, I'll clean things up. I don't help much. I can at least do cleaning by myself. I've used the whole group's plea and send them on their way. The whole group was pleading for him to join for karaoke? Tono, you are in God of Fumbling, my mans. Holy shit. I just know how that scene will play out in a normalized, like, romance anime or just slice of love anime. I know exactly how this shit will play out. It'd be funny as fuck. And I returned all the materials to the art club. Ugh. Something came to me. What am I doing? I have to get 80 or above on all the subjects or have to take so many classes during winter break. Ugh. I can't concentrate on the festival. This is bad. I didn't study at all. This will be dangerous. I've been sick for a long time, so I haven't even caught up to our current material. I dream of getting an average score of 80. Oh, if only someone could tutor me. It's impossible. The only people I know, there's no one who would even pretend to be a tutor. No. There is one. Really? But I can't think of anyone. Think of anyone. There's one though. The senpai who's free after school all the time. Eh? Is there such a person? Sorry about it, I don't know. And who are you anyway? Let's be around to look. What the fuck? Hello, Tonakun. I. I. Huh? Am I dreaming a weird dream? Are you a teacher here? Yes. I just transferred. Oh my god. This is it. Noelle's foundation chat. There it is. She just. Teacher just transferred. This is the foundation for Noelle. This is it. <laughs> chat, let me have this moment, please. That's all I asked for. The mysterious teacher bows politely. No. Shut the It's goodbye for now. I'm gonna be able for private tutoring if you're up to it. The spirit leaves. I just blank to stare at him, pinch my own cheek. Doesn't hurt that much. Um. One. And then th three. Now, if this doesn't work, I don't know what the fuck to do. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Today's lucky item. Carrot. I thought Arihiko would say that, but CL, I guess. Alright, chat. What do you think? The whale CL is a bunny. Bunny Girl CL, hold on, I like the sound of that. So chat, do you think it worked? I don't think it worked. It should. It should have worked, it's pretty short, yeah. Good job, Go. You did it. Round of applause for Go, you did it. Congratulations. You did it. You unlocked the last one. Congratulations. You got to use your goddamn guide once. And it's to unlock good luck, CL Sensei. <laughs> good job, man. Good job. Alright. We'll do that one then. Good job. <laughs> what a pioneer. Ah, Miss CL, do you have a... This should have been Noel, man. If it's just about a teacher, this should have been Noel. I'm just saying. 
if I knew how coding worked, I would go into the game files, swap every goddamn sprite from CL to Noel, change all the dialogue. I fuck. It. If I knew how, I would have. But do I? No. Listen, Chad, you don't understand how powerful I would become if I knew how Renpy worked, you know? If I figured out how Renpy worked, I would become so goddamn powerful, you don't even know. Ha, huh, Miss Yell, you have a moment? Spring is in full bloom. At the end ceremony in April, the principal called me. Miss Yell, cringe. Noel, cringe. Subhiko Sensei, based. Exactly, like you don't understand the amount of power I could have. Yes, listen, principal. So we're playing a CL, just so we know. Alright. We're playing a CL, good to know. Yes, uh, it's something important to him. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> he laughs while well, slightly shaking his face and belly. Mm. So it was a miss, but a mere teacher like me couldn't pass it for a punch or a kick at the principal. You see, we haven't finished dividing up the incoming freshmen into classes. You have quite a few special cases this year. Huh, special cases? Yes, their attitudes are okay, but they have some, um. <clears throat> Other problems. Since it's bothersome to divide them up, I thought maybe we could round them up and put them in one class. He thought. There's something wrong with a principal who says such things after school started. We'll call them Class Q. From now on, please look at their behavior as well as their education. I, I would like to refuse, but do I have the power? <laughs> please don't say such things. It won't be that troublesome. Also, no, you don't. But I'm acting like you do. So I hope that you keep the one student with the highest score. You can have the student in your class or teach the student specially on a one on one basis. This is a Noel setup, and I'm mad she's not here. This is literally a Noel setup. <laughs> Chat, you know if they're remaking KT at any point, you know what this is being changed to. <laughs> you know what this is being changed to. Do not remake KT. But if they did, you know what would happen. Chat, if they remade KT, would they redo Garden of Thanatos? Would they let Takuchi do it again? Now I'm thinking about it, would they do Garden of Thanatos again? I wonder if such a thing would, be, would slide this time around, I wonder. Given how they censored the, um, the remake, right? <laughs> yes, next question. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's two cuts people in this chat. And let's go and Minon. <laughs> yes, next question, or there's no way. I think they would. I... <laughs> no, go away. <laughs> Stop talking to me. If the student doesn't suit you, you can kidnap him and sell him to some fisherman. But, huh? Pardon? Uh-huh. No, I will do that, and I'd probably excuse her actions, but yeah. Ah, okay. And I'll do it. It really wouldn't matter if I refused, right? <laughs> Your understanding of the situation is outstanding. He chuckles lightly. I found a principal to the special class. Yeah, something really bugs me. Good to see the students. She getting kidnapped, right? Yeah. So, Miss Xiao will be your teacher for the day. Here's my announcement to the students. It was like to be out of uniform in the school. Well, the wide variety of students in the classroom makes for a bit of a livelier mood. Everyone, please greet your teacher. Okay, so none of, the school, none of them are in their school uniforms. Who is this, Daniel Robin? Students stand up from the chairs and greet me. Cute class students who seem like they have an attitude. Looking at them is it was love at first sight. Yeah, this is Noel Rap. This this is you could just replace CL with Noel. I 
me personally, I think, yeah, you could just do that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, that part I'm kidding. It's a, I'm, I'm, I'm not serious. Because she didn't start liking Shiki until the... Can I say that? The dungeon, alright? I can say it. The dungeon section. She didn't start liking Shiki until the dungeon section, alright? Norl Delusion is insane. I don't know who Norl is, but I would like to find out. <laughs> Norl Delusion. I'd like to find out who that is. I know you're actually talking about, but Norl sounds funnier. Why the fuck? When I search up the word Norl Delusion, it autocorrects to Noel Delusion. What the fuck? You the fucking ghoul is like, hey, you mean Noel. Stop capping. Mr. Principal! Mr. Principal! Yes? What is it, Monsieur? That student. One is staring at, out the window absentmindedly. Who is he? Ah, oh, yes. His name is Torushiki. He doesn't really have any outstanding problems. Maybe the only one with a studious mind in this class. Shiki. Torushiki, does that mean I can do whatever I want with him? Well, that's if he gets the best grade in the tests. I'll do the content up to you, so please do your best. I don't want to do in that class. So basically, she got free reign so long as they get the best score. So basically, she can give every student a hard as fuck test, but give Shiki a super easy one. He gets to win, boom. It's a fucking relax. Nah. Uh, uh, it's here! This year's biggest catch! He's my type. One not swayed by the fad of the moment. The glasses, the feeling that even though he has strictness, he'll be persuaded by cute pleas. Maybe the feeling that he'll be out of control when he gets angry. Maybe the elegant waistline, the wavy black hair, cute baby-like expression. Bingo! Elegant waistline? What? What do you- what do you mean by weight? his weight? What about his waistline? What? I mean, I should've seen Tonoshiki. This is my reaction scene. Well, it's gonna be honest. <laughs> what, it's got breathable hips or some shit? Like, what? My type. Final answer! Wow. What shall I do? It's not that such a student is in my class, but one on one tutoring after school! In essence, I can lock him up in a room and teach him this and that! <laughs> I'll be okay as long as you don't do anything that would bring the police over. Fantastic, Mr. Principal. I'll follow your footsteps forever. Please don't. <laughs> it sounds a little... I'll refuse. Please, begin your special lesson. Rest in peace, Tonoshiki. <laughs> I'm heating up. 25 years of teaching! Now my reward for all those years has come! Wait just a moment, Tonokun! This time I definitely won't lose to that idiot vampire! Good luck, CL Sensei! Hey, I'll explain the rules. Miss CL will test her common knowledge today. Do as you normally would and give them some questions. The content will be left up to you. The one with the most correct answers by the end of the day will be the class representative of class Q. Yes, that's a yes. Yes, she is. CL Sensei is yes. That's the joke. Also, there will be three chances. You can dismiss those who get three answers incorrect. Okay, and you can ask questions about current events. No, that won't do. In something from the textbook, it wouldn't be sufficient to gauge someone's personality, would it? The questions should all, all be about common sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Common sense? But wouldn't it be hard to answer? This common sense varies inherently. Please relax. I should be the judge. I'll be watching over the situation at the back of the class, so if you're having trouble deciding, please refer to me. Oh, there's also a faculty member amongst the students who will make a record of this. Miss Seal, 
Please teach a student. Please teach a lesson as usual. Indeed. So there's someone from the school amongst the students. Look around as if nothing's happened, and there is indeed someone who would fit the description. Even the rest were chatting amongst themselves, there was one who seemed to observe everything with a slight smile. The one wearing the kimono, student number seven, Kwaksan. I tried to dismiss her purpose. I tried to not. I try not to dismiss her purpose. For some reason, I don't think I can win an information war against her. Mr. Principal, even though these are all special students, there are a lot of girls. <laughs> that may be so. His tendency to just let things slip by like that is one of his worst habits. But it doesn't matter. From now on, all the female students are my enemies. I can tell from a woman's instinct. Especially the long-haired girl pretending to be his relative. That old girl they call maid. That girl sitting in the back and staring at him at are all to be checked on constantly. Let's do our best. Let's do our best. I'll just observe in the back. I'm thinking of his large size, Sprinkle walks to the back lightly. Then, I'll have them introduce themselves and start the class like normal. The examiner speaks. Oh boy, I get to be a teacher. Please do not ever make me a teacher. For two reasons. One, I had nothing to teach. Two, if you're younger than like 18, I probably hate you. <laughs> just to keep that a book. If you're younger than 18 or 19, I probably just dislike you. So I wouldn't want to be around you. So, you know. Don't make me a teacher. I'm just saying. <laughs> well then, let's begin our class. I'm the teacher of class A, but for today I'll be your teacher. Knowing, knowing awkward, she's probably in this classroom. Look out the window, you can see a blonde woman in the tree watching Tono. She watching Tono Kun. My name is Miss Ciel. Teacher, Miss Ciel, who teaches social sci science, greeted us. Oh, back to Tono. Then some of the fall naturally. I'm Tono Akia. I tried some Azagami private middle school. Hmm, isn't Azagami school the best of the best? Since you're here, he must have done something wrong, right, Akia-san? No, Miss Yell. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to make sure that Nissan doesn't mix with any low lives. And I realized now that the choice was the correct one to make. <laughs> Is that so? Well, it really doesn't concern any of us. Next! And so, everyone's brief. Really brief introductions continues on. What? What? <laughs> Roa's back? What? Honestly, I'm kind of happy about that because I like this Roa because he just looks dope as fuck. Dopey, but like, what? Huh? The female teacher. That's nice. <clears throat> Take a step back, uncon back unconsciously. What is this? I was wondering where the old mister was. But it's Rosuke! You get to this high school too? <laughs> of course. I'm the leader of, the cl of Clan Ouroboros, after all. Isn't that funny, Arne? <laughs> Isn't that? Hmm. You don't say, Roa. <laughs> you don't say. The secret seventh member. I'm the lead of the Ouroboros clan, after all. If I don't get accepted by such a school, I wouldn't be setting a good example for my comrades, would I? Yosuke chuckles. Maybe while I was out during the night, Ouroboros gang's, le Ouroboros, Ouroboros gang's leader. To be messed with during the night. Blacklist is about many convenience stores. He always buys things over 10,000 yen and pays it all with 1 yen coins. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, so he's an ass. So he's a complete shit. Got it. That's hilarious, though. I'm not gonna lie, that's fucking hilarious. It's not a criminal act, the police can't do anything about it either. The city in XC3, exactly. I really hope he shows up more because I like him more. The student in the front seems to have overheard my conversation with Rosuke and turn around. Nero! Let's go! Nero! Yeah, baby! Oh my god, this is the best one, chat. Hold on. This might be the best one. What? I just. Wait a minute. Nero and Roa on screen at the same time. That's fucking unheard of, chat! <laughs> As I thought. I thought he was here too. Oh my god. On screen at the same time, chat. We did it. We did it. We peaked right here. We have peaked right here, chat. The moment we've all been waiting for. What? I thought there was some overtly melancholy. Melancholy with a coat. But it's just you, Nero Joe. It's rumored that you would be the heir to Akita and Hokkaido just a lie. No. That kingdom's already gone under. Even if it withstood, it wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to stand it because of its cold weather. This is a Vlav premonition. <laughs> oh my god, chat, it's a Vlav premonition. I can't stand the cold weather. It's a it's a Vlav reference. So bits of Vlav fucked up his kingdom. Got it. So it shows the school, which happens to have the biggest animal club. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good change of pace. You speak as if nothing were out of order. I went on my nighttime stroll too. He likes so many different types of animals. It's rumored that he collects rare animals from all over the world. Okay, next student. Number 17. 17, huh? Tonashiki-kun. Oh, okay. I stand up ignoring Rosuke and Nero Joe. Rosuke. Ro. Hold on. Ro. Roa. I can't say Roa now. Roa. Rosuke. I think. And Nero Joe. These are such weird fucking names. I might have just stick them to just Roa and Nero. I stand up. 17. Christ. It's so peak. I stand up. Ignore Roa and Nero who started doodling knots and crosses on their belts. S S She's back! Chat, there she is! Oh my god! Sachin! She's back! She's alive! Oh my god! Did you see that? Sachin! Is that you? Chat. I noticed I was gonna rate all of these like when we finish them all and all that we're done with this. I think we know what the number one was. I think we know what number one is. <laughs> I think we know. We're just the best uh dreams side side uh, content. I think we know which is the best one. It's this one. <laughs> I feel as if I'm the center of unwanted attention. Tonashiki kun, is it? Enter the exam average of 70 points. Pass the interview with an A. Height, 173 centimeters. Wait, is he taller in this game? In the remake, he's 159. Hold the fuck on. Let me check the book. Did they change his height? That's so weird. What did they do that? Double check my information. I'm not sure I didn't get this wrong. Let me <coughs> browse the material book for 
information about Tomoshiki Kun. Why is he not page one? He's not page one, Chad. Hold on. <clears throat> no, he's 173. I'll shut up. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I changed his height, but I guess not. I'll shut up. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm putting him back. I'm sorry, Chad, for uh, <clears throat> trying to be smart there. I'll just stick to being the streamer that reads. I'll stick to being the streamer that just reads the dialogue and then moves on. Height, 173 centimeters. Weight, 60 kilos. Blood type A. Eyesight, 2020. Cooperative and placid attitude. Miss Ciel? This guy reads my information thoroughly. I'm impressed with a shoe size. Is everything correct? Asking does, she smiles. Uh, yes, I think you're all correct, but. Alright. And we'll conclude with the introductions and begin the lesson. What are you saying? I haven't introduced myself yet. That's right! Miss Ciel, I didn't get my turn either. Due to the lack of time, it won't matter if we skip you guys. Well, let's begin. Those with bad attitudes will be dismissed immediately. What the fuck? I'm getting a little bit angry. Isn't it sad, Sachin? At dust chat, we've come full circle. Isn't it sad, Sachin? I don't know why he's so happy, but Rua seems to be enjoying himself, enjoying something. Well then, well, then let me hand out the books. It's not the textbooks, so don't mind them too much. Okay, let's see, who'll have the most trouble with this job? Hisui-san, please hand these out. Wait, who'll have the most trouble? What? Oh god. In other word, the girl goes up to the podium to hand the books out. Huh? She... Works in my mansion. <laughs> Here, Tonakun. The book was size B5 and had a blue cover. Suichan is carrying books for, for all of the students. Isn't that a bit too much for only a girl? Hey, that's sick! Sist. Listen, handing out books to the class is not something that's exclusively a man's job, Shiki. Come on. Thanks. You can leave half of it with me. I'll help you handling. I'll help you handling them out. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. Suichan bows respectfully and leaves half of them on my desk. Hey, Suichan, no talking with others. Now pretend to be weak and delay the lesson. See how strikes. Suichan hands out the books rather roughly. Okay, now please open your books. In the book, you'll find many com commonsensical situations illustrated. I'll be testing you over these materials. If you have questions, please ask. Miss, I have a question. Yes? What is it, Rose Kikun? <laughs> what? Chat, what do you think he said? <laughs> Chat, what do you think he said here? What do you... What do you think he said here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight. Eight words. And a cup. <laughs> That's my anaconda tastes like. Yes. Roa, why would you do that? Membrane? That's probably what it was. I think Roa's dead. Again! Rios couldn't go flying. That bastard didn't even need the three chances. Well, that's one done, and the more the better. No more Roa content? No! I am mad Nasa wrote Roa out first. 
Why would he write him out first? What did he mean by this, chat? What did Nasu mean by this? Writing it Roa out first. Okay, everyone. Please turn to page 106. Let's think about what the main character is thinking about during the second day. Inversion Impulse 2. Wait, this is a lesson on Tsukihime. What the fuck? And so Miss Seal starts a lesson as if nothing happened. Well, at least we have Nero, okay? We have Nero and Sachin at least. Okay, so Rose's dismissal. Let's just turn up without much trouble. Miss Seal, on page 12, Endless Stone, a heroine disappears. What happened? Does it explain anywhere how the vampires come to Japan? Yes! You point out something very important! Normally, a vampire can't cross the sea. Since they're weak against sunlight, they can't simply take a ship or an airplane. So, in these cases. It, yes, Nerojokun? Maybe they use the advances in technology. It seems very possible for this vampire who appears until the Black Beast episode to use a ship or an airplane. Is that so? This. This is a duo I never thought I would see on screen. This is a combination of characters I never thought I would see on screen in an officially licensed licensed type moon game involving Tsukihime characters. Never in my wildest dreams that I imagined this would be on screen. Truly, gaming has peaked right here. Right here it's peaked. And I think we can all agree collectively, right? Right. Is that so? But then he has no idea when he'll be out in the sun. As the airplanes fly over the clouds, wouldn't they be even more critical to him? Those worries are unnecessary. A vampire who hasn't conquered sunlight won't come out of his own territory. Once across the ocean, he must not be influenced by sunlight. If that is so, he would have trouble. But, Nerujukun, what about the blood vampire? I don't think that one has the common sense to use a plane or anything of that sort. I strongly agree. What do you think of her? Hmm. You guys underestimate the princess's knowledge. She understands the structure of human society. You can tell, because she rents an apartment to use as her base of operations. Huh, I see. And she flew by plane to come to Japan too? Probably. But I think that her natural method of transportation is by teleporting. As a spare with a free will, the princess can move to anywhere in this world. It would be better to describe it as teleportation. And yet she takes fucking forever to kill Roa every time? I get she can't sense him out or anything, but like just teleport to the bitch. Damn. He slows down the process on purpose at this point. Aw fucking awkward frog. Even though studying the matter that makes her up to a different place takes only a few moments, reforming it into her form probably takes a long time. And if the particles of the place are scarce or scarce, then reforming would probably be even more difficult. Oh students applaud. What? Nerojakun is so smart, chat. Oh my god. But this, Nerojo answers from the ninth time. He definitely has the best record in this class. Yes, he answered well, Nerojakun. He still congratulates him. But that smiling face is somehow giving me goosebumps. And everyone, looks like you have read most of the book. I'll ask questions from now on. If you want to answer, please raise your hand. Sometimes I'll call on you, so be prepared. Yes, answers the class secure students. Man, Nero just wants to be a good student in class, and she, he's gonna get shamed for it because CL wants to fuck Tona. I can't believe this. It's just starting. I can't believe this. The fears of the battle peaked. With the original 20 students, now there's only me, Nerojo, Nero Joe, and then some female students remaining. You see us traumatizing questions probably left emotional scars on students who are left. But till now, only Quaxa and I haven't gotten any answers incorrect. Well, 
It's because Missy doesn't call on me, and Clarkson answers only when she called when called upon. <coughs> What's left to Aki-san, Hisui-san, Clarkson, Imisuka-san, and finally Neroju-kun and Shiki-kun. Chat! Sasuke made it till the end! She did it! The full power of Yumizuka gets unleashed in this scenario. Oh my fucking god. Only 7 of the 50, rem 50 questions remain. Frankly, you guys surprised me. This age I thought most of you past, I mean students, would have already dropped. <coughs> don't don't underestimate us, Miss CL. We won't get on our knees just because of some questions. We'll get through the rest of them as if they were nothing. Right, Hisui? Okay, currently... Uh, oh, my voice! What the fuck? Hold on a sec, what? Hey, we're back! What the fuck was that shit? Hold on. We're back. <clears throat> okay, currently... Tonokun has answered none. Akiya-sama, Yumisuke-san, and I have answered at least five times. I don't if it's possible to win win with the remaining seven questions. Hmm. Sui so and Aki are both keeping track of the score. Ah, huh, that is so. I'm at minus zero plus zero. I can assume each other minus one plus five. Misuka minus one plus three. Not bad. Quarks on minus zero plus two. Nero Joe minus two plus fifteen. Yo, he's smart! Well, I guess a comeback would be impossible. The scores I've written down in my notes. Yes, if this keeps up, Neroja Kun will surely win. Even though Ryos Kekun is also a boss, he's already exited the stage. I chose of Neroja Kun to keep on staying. It's because I'm studious by nature. But I didn't fail the two problems on purpose. You see, his ability to pick out questions is doubtful. Thank you for that comment. And now, direct question number 44 to Neroja Kun. Page 2800, Crimson Grassfield's protagonist goes into his father's room. What's the fifth common sense question that Room Guardian asks the protagonist? Chad, do we even know the answer to this question? Because I don't think we do. I don't remember the common sense questions. The fifth common sense question, bro. I don't fucking remember the normal one, the other ones. Wow. CL, it's such an impossible question. I'm sorry for underestimating you. It's one three two three five two four two two four. No fucking shot. Wait, do I have to remember this? Surely not. Huh? Maybe three three two three one three one five two one. Or maybe three four one four five three four five one two. Roger Kun, what are you talking about? Wait, are these these are routes! These are hold on! I gotta I gotta save these. Oh shit, I gotta save that. He's he's talking about routes! I did my best to answer such a ridiculous question. Is there a problem? Roger leans back on his chair arrogantly. <laughs> He's in trouble for a second, then directs your attention to the person in the back of the class. Mr. Principal? Your verdict, please. <laughs> it's a pity, but Norja Kun's answer won't suffice. If you really got stuck on this question too, you would do well to make a note of it. Hm. Maybe my digits were off. He leaves the scene cleanly. <laughs> Nero, no! No, don't leave, please! Very well. I won't say anything about your liking for younger people, but it's a little weird, teacher. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna judge you, but it's kind of fucking creepy. It, it's none of your business. Lucy should leave immediately. Lucy puts a spin as a chalk and throws that narrow gel. He starts absorbing a chalk that looked as if it was fired by a revolver. Well, that's a fresh start. The next question. This one. Hmm. Yumisu Kazan. In the version Impulse 3, the protagonist's classmate turns into a vampire now. Uh, yes, that is so, but... And here's the question. This extra who didn't know her place and was rumored to beat even the heroine in the popular early poll. Such a rumor, many thought that there was even a snarl of her own in the main game. But what was the truth of the matter? We get it, she didn't get her fucking route till just recently, but come on, man. Amazing. Miss Ciel, she hits Yumizuka with her special attack. It... That's fucked. That's honestly fucked up. <laughs> fucked up, Ciel. It was... Uh... She wants to answer, she just can't. Well, that's normal, seeing how her own existence depends on her answer. Huh? I can't hear you, Misuka san Miss Ciel goes in for another strike. Uh, Sachin, who can't suppress her own feelings of injustice. And then... That... Uh, I don't know. So she puts her pride foremost. Ooh, he can't answer. Only have to be a negative point. It's fine! My appearance is more important than answering such a question. She's right. She's right. The fact she's appeared in the first place is much better than her answering this question. I slapped the microphone again. The war bun. This is so Sasha. I've never, I haven't seen. Miss CL, I have a question. Isn't this a fun disc? I heard a rumor that instead of a boring senpai, a melancholic and unlucky girl will take the main, the main role. Who has she make an appearance? Oh, that does sound more interesting. Because it was cut. Yeah, that's currently. That's fucked up. Eh? What? What string got cut? Eh, thank you for being goobusy stupid. Hey! Sia! Nah. Nah, nah, Sia, that's a minus point. That's, that's, nah. Nah, that's a minus point for you, Sia. You're going down that character list. You're going down that favorites list. This is going to affect the final rating once I'm done with the reading this damn thing. That's affecting the rating. Fucked up. That's fucked up. But that extra's route is clearly cut out. Because it doesn't fit with this re release, he'll be left in the dark. If it was completed before this, maybe it'll see the light of a maybe it'll see the light of day later. Yeah, it did. Or it's going to. Maybe next year. Of course, it would take the kind of luck needed to win a lottery. Ten years later. <laughs> Uh, adults are all liars! <laughs> this grunts of fucking says it. No, Type Moon is a liar. For those who expected it, apologies. Even they're like, yeah, sorry, man. You're not getting your route, man. Till 10 years later. Thank you, Nasu, for making up for this. Frankly, I thought as if our intestines were being cut, too. I can't accept that! You're horrible, Mr. Principal! If you're going to make seven of these stupid, stupid episodes, it would have been okay to put my story in, too! So she runs towards the principal in the back of the room. Hmm. So just puts on an understanding smile. And then... Oh. A cut! There's a cut! Shouts. I don't believe this. I promise I get revenge on you. Just watch out the classroom cry, cry. Revenge absolutely unsuccessful until ten years later. Hmm. Even my episode got cut. Why would I let another person's scenario be in? Because you don't fucking deserve one. Sakuga Mina laughs. Because 
Hume's eldest son was engaged to Akia, he is said to have played a lot of annoying tricks on Akia and Hisui. misuka san what a pity. Yes, it is. But to us, it might be a good thing. Anyway, her route is a real vampire route. Once has the theme of boy meets girl. And it would have been peak. But no. But no. No, didn't happen. So he could have eclipsed other heroines. Don't care. Should have done it. See? Especially that. I was now thinking about maybe it was maybe it was for the best it got cut you know. Until now maybe it was for the best because who knows what they're able to cook up now you know. Hakiya-san, please don't gossip during class. Oh, rest in peace, Akio. Coping? Well, I'm not. What am I coping? I'm not coping anything. I'm just saying maybe it was better that it actually was saved till now. Because now they can do a bunch of new experimental shit with that route, given that it's brand new. Instead of just taking what was already written back in 2000 and then rehashing it. That's what I mean. Instead of having being forced to build upon the foundation, you get to experiment with something completely new. This is not coping, this is making light of a shit situation where you have to wait 10 years for a character to get their route, which is already planned. But that didn't happen anyway. That's not coping. Chuck flies like a bullet. I can't avoid my mouth tilting her head. <laughs> Student and the teacher stare at each other. So these two will be like this the whole scenario. Ah, Miss Seal, we don't have much time. Why don't you ask the next question? Okay, then next question. On page 81, whom does the protagonist think of? One would suppose that this playmate of his in his childhood days were his first love. Would the first love become true? Here becomes really heavy. I get his suit on the clocks and all observe each other as if waiting for the next move. But this is Miss Hill's trap. If first love could become true, it would not be likely that the principal would approve such a thing. Sui so stands up. I I she knows the truth. His first love will definitely become true. So which one answers? Ah, then it won't be interesting! Rage of the principal. <laughs> Sui chan quietly sits back down. Yes, it's a pity, Sui chan I was a little touched, but there's no way to go against the principal's decision. One more wrong and you'll be dismissed, Sui chan Yes. I know. Can't believe this bullshit. Then continuing with the topic of the protagonist and the little girl, the relatively germophobic protagonist has two maids with him. The relatively germophobic protagonist, he is not germophobic. A son who cooks well and B son who cleans well. Then which would suit the protagonist better? <coughs> Sweet Chan gulps. But she needn't have answered, she takes a deep breath and Personally, I think B would be better. Who's B again? Ah, you mean yourself. Mm, of course. Correct answer. So she falls straight into Miss Seal's trap again. No, no, that won't do. The protagonist is a germophobic, so A San can cook well would suit him better. He would complete each other more. Sue bows her head silently. So there are only three left now. Bullshit. Me, Kwaku, and Akia. That's bullshit. They cheated! Okay, the question for Kwaku-san. In the protagonist's mansion, there are two maids. How much is their salary? What? I look surprised. You got this, Akia. Ah, that's an uncomfortable question. There are no references to the questions, Tsukihime. Yeah, the, we, I, I'll fucking know. Of course, I can't tell Nissan such a thing. If I say there's no second salary, he'll treat me like a monster or a demon. I'm sorry, Akia, we already kind of do and you're around anyway. We already kind of do. Akia mumbles. But if that's the question, I'll answer it. 
I didn't tell Akiya-san, but this salary was set by Makisa-sama. If they were to ever leave the mansion, it would be enough for them to live comfortably. What? That's the- hold on. Triple X means something entirely different. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't Google that. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. That's not- hold on. That's- hold on. That- Imanis. They leave the mansion. They'll open a classy tea shop somewhere. Wait, so how much is this? Cause that's a, that sounds like a lot. Eh? That much? Oh, well, both of them? I can't miss out and I are all surprised. Yes. Please keep it a secret from Hisui-chan. Wow. What's that close-up question even Miss Yellen didn't know the answer to? Wait, why keep it a secret from Hisui? Doesn't she also get paid? Miss Yell, there are only two questions left now. Since it's almost time to dismiss all the students, please hurry up. Of gives Miss Yell a meaningful smile. Miss Yell nods and heads towards the blackboard. His question will be about common sense. Today, people say bigger is better. And it applies to women's breasts, too. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's alright. You see Aka's eyebrows scrunch up. <laughs> Damn fighting words. Pen is the average breast size of a woman 73. Of course it is. It sends over my seat with so much force. Hoo -hoo. You answered Akiya-san. Uh, uh. Let's ask Mr. Principal in the back. Mr. Principal, is a bus size of 73 the average? Miss Yell, Miss Yell's Akiya's focus turns toward the principal. That's the usual one then. <laughs> he turns around as if he just heard something unbelievable. This is slander. This is slander. Who can mean they? Not just now. What's the meaning of it? It's useless to threaten the principal, Akiya-san. What's there is there, and that and what's not is not. Not exactly talking about your breasts, so please don't act so fidgety. I guess it's down again, unsatisfied. What is the correct answer then? Just out of curiosity. Okay, now I'll be over with the next one. The long day is about to come to an end. Well, there are a lot of questions about the protagonist. The last question will be about his little sister. The protagonist and the sister are siblings, but they're not related by blood. If this is the case, can they marry? It's a trick question, trick question, trick question. No! No! Trick question! It's a trick question! No! Trick question! I mean, yes! You can't, but like, it's a trick question! <laughs> they still need to even answer that. Of course they can marry. No, they should marry. They haven't even Akiya said it. Sounds like sort a of fear, fiery aura. Akiya-sama, that... Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that really be a bit of a stretch? Why? Since they're not related by blood, there will be no problem with them marrying. That is... Suppose the protagonist finds out that he's adopted, but his birth certificate is no more. So since he has to live under his current name, he really can't marry his little sister. That's true. If he finds out that he's adopted, since he's a righteous type, he won't find marriage to a close relative unacceptable. Such things. Even though Nissan refuses, I'll take him to the wedding on the leash. Um. I'd rather you not. It's <laughs> so true, Aki. So true. I'd rather you not, though. Personally speaking, I'd rather you not. That's why you're the best. <laughs> no matter what anyone says, nothing can bother two people in love. If 
that love is pure, even God will permit it. I understand Aki-san's feelings well, but we're discussing what's right and wrong. And God isn't the one to decide. <laughs> that's real. That's a really funny line, on the way. <laughs> that that's a that's a really funny line, on the way. That's that that's a great line, honestly. I'm gonna I'm gonna document that one. I'm gonna document that one. Thank you, Aki. Thank you, Quark Son. I'ma document that one. Quark Son points to the back of the room. And there. You can't break the law. Is your principle? Yeah, I thought so. Kiyosama, shut the f- <laughs> Akiyosama, please shut the f- Okay. And the lesson ends here. Totally getting bounced within the class. Of course, besides him bothers me. But it won't be me for now. But it'll only be for now. Good job, class. Look at the results. The best student is Tonoshiki-kun. Shiki-kun will transfer to class A tomorrow morning. So if you will. <laughs> They're taking him to the social studies room. I'll ask him him, ask him this and that. He just came to high school. He probably doesn't have a lover. But I still need to do my best to fend him off early. Ah, Miss Seal. Yes? Listen, Tonakun. Once I answered many more times, I didn't even participate in the lesson. Kokusa nods in acknowledgement. Seal grooming is bad. See, unlike Noelle, she's bad at it. Seal's actually bad at doing it, unlike Noelle. For very much obvious clarity, that's a joke. Th that's a joke. I don't condone the Noel groom allegations, okay? There was a purpose for it, and it was to vampire check, okay? She did that to check for vampires. On Shiki specifically, because he's a Roa target, okay? Understand that. <clears throat> And nods and acknowledgement. No, Quaxon doesn't matter. Uh, D Dan? We don't talk about Dan around here. We don't, we don't. Dan? You can say what you want about Dan. When it comes... We can slander Dan as much as you want. I will nod along, no matter how bullshit it is. Because fuck Dan. Frankly, I... I can't say enough how much I hate Dan. I really, really can't say enough how much I despise Dan. I really can't. There was a faculty observer among the students, and Clarkson is that person. So Clarkson's grades don't matter. But, surprised Shiki-kun. Even his surprise expression is lovely. Exactly. Not any con- If you're- Listen, if you're watching this VOD and your name's Dan, not you. Not- not you. You're fine. You're good. But the short name for Dead Apostle Noel is Dan. So fuck Dan. No, Miss Ciel. The truth is. I don't know anything about this faculty observer. Why doesn't she could almost simultaneously say that? Huh? That means- Mr. P -P Principal, <laughs> I did tell you, didn't I? It's not good to just follow someone your whole life. Did you really think that a normal kid with Tonoku would get put in class Q? <laughs> the last one his belly sways. The plot twist. D d that means the student I'm getting is not Tonoku, but yes, it's me, Miss Ciel. Uh... Being Nars have forced me to support my body that wants to collapse. It's very regrettable that I can't take Shiki Kun. But the new term has only just started! That really least meant I can develop this relationship into other things. Tona <laughs> Kun, you see. Hey, Principal, is the class Q test done? At that moment, this is someone who hasn't made an appearance this whole time. Oh. Miss Akud? Oh, Miss Akud? His face turns red. Yahoo! Good job being a faculty observer, Shiki. 
What? Stop! We're at school! How look good if you cling on so much! Look, you're nice and he looks pretty happy. You, you, you What are you two doing? Uh, no, no. Oh, it's my acquaintance. Or something like that. Well, we did that, too. So it's not much use trying to hide it, but hide it. Plus, the principal allowed us to. Turns out, CL, you were too fucking slow from the start. He already fucked the vampire. Sorry. The principal? Yeah, so she keeps mine. We're going to go out to play. Don't bother us, CL. Uncle Clint's on the Shiggy Kun's neck. Wait! Stop it! Uh, please stop! Thank you for your lesson today, Miss CL. Hot good co worker, rival teacher. He's my lifetime opponent. Took away Shiki Kun. Behind him, Clarkson smiles as if I'm pathetic. Plus, the principal smiles as if he really is happy. Trying to get Coke Challenge? Impossible. Fucking real. Maybe that's why she got her route expanded while Ark didn't. Maybe that's why. Cuck Ark back. <laughs> Miss Seal, you really are an extra. You can't take the main role. Punch. Kick. <laughs> this one goes flying. Uh, if you're ever going to turn out this way, I should have just ended it around page two. Uh, it's too cruel. I'm always an extra. Was I born to be so? Can I never be the main heroine? I collapse involuntarily. What are you talking about? You have your own points of attraction. For example, you have your own plethora of character sprites. What's that spells for me? She's decent. Well, the heroines, I think I can get along with Crocs on the most. Add on top, add on to the fact that she was fifth in the second, second popularity poll. Thank you, Crocs on. <sighs> How about we go out for a drink? <laughs> okay. Like me to accompany you? Who that sympathizes with me? Damn. I did not see it end this way. Let's go to the meeting room. There's a lot of beer there. Yes, today I'll get drunk. I'm underage. What are you saying? Physically, I'm underage too. The two losers will walk the hallway at sunset. Uh, next time, I'll get that idiot vampire. The force of Croxon, just nothing that can stand in our way! Thank you for that great Saranasu. I'll be honest, great scenario. Thank you. Taguchi Takahashi! Not Takashi, Takashi. Sorry. Haga Keita for the music, for the sound. Oh my god. Creatures of my team Sky. Okay. So we should get a message about Tono's birthday now. If the clock's changed. We should. Because it's the 15th now. Today's lucky item. We do not. Today's lucky item. Curry dumpling. The fuck is his birthday in the OG? Is it not the 15th? Wait. Hold on. Or does he just not have one? The heck? Hold on. This is the 15th. There's only one story left. And we can't do that one yet. Right. For last thought. Yeah, for last. We can't do this one. Which. I mean, I don't even know what this is going to entail. Because it's already written by Nasu. So, like, it could be anything. But I think with that chat, we'll, uh, we'll end it at that. And that's a good point to just end it on. With the last um, side story we can do. It's the greatest thing ever written. I can't fucking wait. That's the last 10 nights of dream we can read before the end of the game. We're going to end it right there. And then pick up tomorrow with more of the content of like just getting seen CGs, whatever. We can get some... Uh... There we go. I, bring, I also bring news chat. We're reading more Tsukihime tomorrow. Me and my mother. I, I, we have, it's, we've been kind of bad with it. Not gonna be watching a bit more Bleach. But we're getting back into Tsukihime tomorrow. Which means we should probably finish the arc round. Hopefully. If I close to the end. Ah, fuck, don't say that. I don't want to start reading Fate. Please. No. 
I don't want to be fake chat. Uh, brother. Well. <laughs> anyway. Chat, I hope you all enjoyed. It just seemed like you all did, which is good. That's good. So have a good day, evening, or night, wherever you are in the whole wide world. And I hope to see each and one of you same time, same place. Tomorrow for more Kagetsu Toya. It's gonna be uh it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So I hope to see you all then. Bye bye!